Hey y'all, good afternoon. It's New Year's Day, so hopefully, whenever you're watching this, hopefully you had a good New Year's Day and your New Year is going good so far. We're gonna get back at it this afternoon. Nana had a computer failure yesterday and it crashed, so we had to go buy her a new computer to start the new year. So, we're getting back at it this afternoon, moving forward, and I do believe I'm gonna start working in these closets, hanging the closet rods, that's the plan. And you saw I started on the air conditioner, but I didn't want to put the air conditioner up because I still had to install the faux beams and I didn't want to hit the air conditioning unit with the faux beams and jack it all up. So, got the backer board sitting there, air conditioner sitting over here, and Nana's got the faux beams in here and she's going to be putting on one more coat of stain so we got the faux beams right here and i think they look pretty good uh, i think i would do it a little bit different next time if there ever is a next time i would wire brush the whole thing instead of just buying the brush spruce because this is like too uniform in terms of not really following the grain. Whereas you can see where I kind of brushed it on the edges using a wire brush on my drill. I don't know how well you guys can see that. Let's see if you can see that very well. But you can see the difference from where I brushed it and where the factory brushed it. And I think I would do that different next time. But other than that, I think they look they look pretty good. We'll definitely see once we get them in there. But that's what we're going to be doing today. And I'm fixing to get started in the closet. So, and then Nanny will, be, Nanny will be staining this stuff. All right, you guys keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay y'all, check it out. I think that's it for tonight y'all. I think I'm done. Got this closet rod, closet rods hung in here. Nana's gonna caulk and paint tomorrow. Caulk and paint those, we got that done today. And then, as you know, in here, Nana's got the second coat of stain on our beams. Look pretty good. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning y'all. It's another great day that the Lord has made. Getting back at it again. And today is my last day of vacation, so we'll see how much we get done. Fixing to go see about installing our beam wraps. That's the plan right now. Nana will be out here in a little while to do some painting. So you guys keep watching. Let's get back to work. All right, y'all, we got a call to deliver some tools to some sweet friends of ours. And we need to go to the store to get some kind of trim board or something. Beam number one is up. Pops did a great job. I've caulked the closet hanger system, whatever you call that, rod, whatever it's called. I'm gonna go to town real quick while that's drying and we'll be back. Hey y'all, we're back. Getting back at it. Had some lunch. Took a towel saw to some friends. So we're getting back on our job. You guys keep watching, it's back to work. Hey, good afternoon, y'all. Well, the J-O-B is over for the day, so now I'm gonna get to work out here, and I'm gonna work on the ceiling fan mount. Up here, I need to do some adjusting on the, the mounting box that's inside my little saddle thing, and then I need to tape it off so we can caulk it and get it ready for Nana to paint. And then probably Thursday, maybe, we'll be able to hang the ceiling fan. We'll see, don't know for sure. We're just plugging along, doing what we can do. So we're gonna work on that. But before I do that, I'm gonna put some screws in the pocket doors so Nana can stain them like this one. They're gonna be stained like this. Here, let me turn this light on over here. They're gonna be stained like this from their natural state. So I'm gonna put a screw in so she can 
move them around and stuff like that. That's what we're gonna do first. And then we'll get on the ceiling fan mount. And then if I get that stuff done, depending on what time it is, I'll work on this front closet right here. All right, y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go, that's it for today. I got this all blocked in, puttied up, caulked up, ready to paint. Nana's gonna paint it tomorrow. Saw that, my battery died. But this closet here, I cut the shelves, got the shelves made to go in there, and Nana's gonna paint those. Those are in here, my battery died on the camera, so I didn't get any of that. But here they are right here. Got shelf one, shelf two, upper and lower. Nana's gonna paint those tomorrow. And then hopefully Thursday, we'll get those installed. We'll see. Appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you later. Hey y'all, it's early. Pops went back to the office today for some meetings and I need to clean that up. He calls it the saddle. Clean the wood putty, that brownie yellow stuff. Clean that off, tape up the beam and the ceiling and touch up the saddle with white and the trim with white and then the ceiling with ceiling paint. And then I also need to paint the closet shelves that go in here and I'm gonna have to give somebody a ride somewhere and then hopefully come home and start staining the sliding doors. Let's get started. Okay, y'all, got a couple coats on there. The ceiling's fine, but the tape didn't keep from bleeding through. Down here, it doesn't look so bad. Up there, it looks pretty bad. So I'm gonna let it dry, and this afternoon I'll come back with a really fine point paintbrush and try to stain that. I was kind of surprised that the paint stuck because the paint is latex and the beam is oil, but I'm not gonna keep messing with it. It can be addressed later. Now let's go paint the closet shelves. All right, y'all, now it's time to get the first coat. Well, I'm only doing one coat of stain on the sliding doors. Pops put me a little screw in there for a handle. I already did this side of the bathroom door and the edges, so I just have to do the inside of the bathroom door. But I need to do both sides and all the rims of the bedroom door and the living room door. So I gotta wipe it on, wait five minutes, wipe it off, and move to the next door. So let's see how messy this is gonna get. of the doors stain today. It stinks in here. It's too cold outside to open the windows, but I want to anyway. I am a slob, you know that. Inside. The hallway side. And there is the hallway side of the living room. And then here is the living room side of this door. There you have it. I'll come back this afternoon and use the stain and touch up that ceiling spot. But in the meantime, I gotta go get showered and ready for the day. Okay, y'all. Back trying to figure out how I need to deal with where the tape didn't keep the paint from running. Up there, I don't need any more paint on it. I just need to figure out how to clean it up. I'm gonna do that. Let's check our doors. I saw a couple spots yesterday evening that might need to be sanded, touched up. I think this side's good. I think that side's good. Going on in here. This is the room inside the bathroom. So, some glue or something right there I need to scrape off and touch up. I don't think I can do anything about those little scratches. They're just gonna be character as they say. But this is kind of rough right here. 
But I think I might sand this whole board off. We'll see. Something's got to be done. There's your sheet of dust. Let's see about the outside. All right, the outside looks good. That was the first side we did more than a week ago, I think. The living room door. I think it looks good. There's no spots. It's just a knot. That's a little rough too, but I don't think it looks bad. Kind of almost fuzzy feeling. I might not do any of that. I might just get some steel wool and try steel wool on it. We'll see. This is the living room side. So down here, it kind of has that rough, rough. All of this is rough where you can see there's a little, let me try another light. Where you can see the discoloration. That whole section is rough and that whole section is smooth. You can even see where the fibers from the cotton stuck. Maybe steel wool will be enough on that. We'll see. And then here's a sticky spot. I need some steel wool there. And then of course I've got to put another coat of paint on these closet shelf undersides so that I can start on the other side and perhaps can install them if hopefully today or tomorrow. He's at work today, so we'll see what happens. <sighs> Let's get started. Okay y'all, that does the last coats of these two closet under shelves. Got those done. I sanded those three rungs, whatever you call them, and re-stained those. There's definitely discoloration there, but it's smooth on this side. I think that's just gonna be what it is. The door will be open most of the time. We also got a bathroom door. Got the glue off the edge and re-sanded the same three bottom whatevers. Restained them. They're good to go. And then in the bedroom, we did the same on the whichever one it was in here. I think it was the top one. And then our stain paint problem on the saddle of the beam, I think, is resolved. We'll see what Pops thinks. He hasn't come in to check it yet today. He's hard at work. Anyway, we've got to go to town, so I need to go put street clothes on and put all this stuff dry. Hey y'all, here we go. You guys been watching Nana do some work, do some painting and work up here and stuff. So today, it's my turn. Well, this evening, I guess I should say it's my turn. Nana's been working earlier today too. So I'm gonna work on this air conditioner. Hopefully I get this air conditioner put in. Waiting for paint and stuff to dry up here so we can put the ceiling fan in. So we're gonna start over here on this wall with the air conditioning head unit for the mini split. All right, you guys keep watching. Let's get back to work. Okay y'all, I think that's it for tonight. That thing was a bear. Is it the way I wanted it? No, not really, but it's close. It'll be better. I'm not trimmed out yet, but I'm not gonna do any trim work on that thing until I get it vacuumed down and uh, pressure tested and everything. When I make sure the line sets are all working good, no leakies, then I will come back and put it back together completely and finish it up. But that's it for tonight y'all. All right, see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.